in the presidential year and particularly this presidential year where there's so much at stake, right? Where there's democracy itself is, is really at stake. Cliff Albright is the executive director and co-founder of Black Voters Matter. He says elections are about way more than names on a ballot. Elections have real consequences. Every vote really does count. These people, they make decisions that impact our lives. They make decisions that impact our families, our schools, our jobs, our houses, all of that. We ought to have a say. I don't know about y'all, but I want to have a say in the people that get to then have a say on my life. Albright says the evidence of just how powerful your vote is can be seen in the efforts to suppress the vote in black and brown communities. We've been battling this issue of voter suppression really from the time we were brought to these shores, right? This country was founded on voter suppression. He says the Supreme Court decision 10 years ago, essentially gutting the Voting Rights Act, opened the floodgates for new voter suppression efforts. Almost every state in this country tried to pass some type of voter suppression law, and a majority of them did pass. Some things that made it harder to vote in person, made it harder to uh, vote by absentee, to vote by mail, getting rid of drop boxes, changing polling places. One of the things that states, some states have been doing is that they purge their voter rolls. They, they pull people off, they delete people from the list of, of active voters, from eligible voters. Sometimes they're able to do that because they say that you've moved and you changed your address and you didn't let them know. Sometimes they do it just because you haven't voted in some period of time. Cliff says when they are not trying to keep us from going to the polls, they are trying to limit the impact of our vote by redrawing districts through gerrymandering. They create these districts that basically, instead of the people being allowed to select their elected officials, the elected officials are deciding who gets to vote on what on what districts, right? They're getting to pick who the, who the voters are and who their electorate is. So how do we fight back? Cliff says the more educated you are, the better your chances of ensuring your vote counts. And that means being proactive, double checking everything. What we suggest is that you should check if you're on the voter registration laws. And there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can find, you can Google and find in your state, the, the state election office. Sometimes it's the secretary of state's office. Um, but what we do with our website at blackvotersmatterfund.org, we have a voters tool, which basically lets you check no matter where you live in the country, you can go online. If you're not registered, you can get registered that way. Even if you are a regular voter, we still encourage folks to regularly check your voter registration. And before you head to the polls, be sure you do your homework. Know the candidates and issues you'll be voting on. That means getting plugged in now. We encourage people to find an organization near you. Part of what we do is we support organizations that are on the ground, community groups, churches, Divine Nine, neighborhood association, NAACP chapters, right? That kind of uh, connections, that's what make our makes our community strong. And that's a lot of times where we can get a lot of this helpful information. Cliff reminds us, the decisions we make in the polling booth will impact our lives for years to come. We've got the power to control our own lives. I mean, at the end of the day, isn't that what we all want? We just want the ability to control our lives in 2024. That question, that ability is on the ballot and we got to be in the game. We got to be involved. We got to go vote.